Hello everybody, this is Trevor Truck, and I'm back again with another episode of American Truck Simulator, the game where we get in a truck and we drive, and we have some fun with it. Um, I actually do have a very special guest on today's recording and uh before i go out onto the road i just want to show you it's uh this little guy right here um i haven't come up with a name for this little dinosaur but uh yeah um and then i also have this really cool looking uh like little decoration like i could see i could see myself putting this on a christmas tree but that's just my personal taste. Um, but it definitely goes along with my overall theme. I'm going for the very green type of truck. Um, green, by the way, is my favorite color. So, it only makes sense. Now today, amazingly, the highway is pretty empty. And I kind of like that, to be honest. I think it's a lot better that way. Uh, so I'm just going to drive and not really worry about much. Um, there is a job that I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I know. I can't seem to escape the work. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I pick up my cargo. Just going to follow the GPS and see how it all goes. Now, uh, looks like we have some, uh, wildlife, I guess. That wasn't real, was it? Just looked like cardboard cutouts. I'll just call it wildlife. Um, so yeah, let's continue this journey. This is a very interesting place. Um, and we are in Lewiston, in Idaho. Idaho, the great home of the big potato, that one cargo that I did a few episodes back. I wish I could do it again, but sadly, it was part of a, a special event. There's the river, looking really nice. And there is industrialization to your, to your left. So... It's a very beautiful state. Um, let's let's go ahead and collect our cargo, and we're gonna do a great job because that's what we usually do, right? Um, I like this city already, honestly. You know what I ought to do is I ought to buy a garage here. All right, so let's just wait patiently. Now. Being that this is American Truck Simulator, you, in typical situations, are allowed to do a right turn on red, provided that it's safe. Um, that's just a little tidbit. And frankly, I'm fine with that. It just helps me, you know, get the jobs done faster uh so anyway now that we have stopped here we're gonna go to freight market and we are gonna do the job that we intended quite frankly it's not the biggest cargo that i've ever had but um it's certainly uh i don't know i guess it's big enough uh so i i suppose that they keep it tucked away in the back um I don't know what I'm getting into okay I got a better idea now so I'm just gonna have to maneuver and I'm just gonna have to be real careful because I don't want to crash into anything and we're just gonna do a little do a little maneuver here 
And we're gonna back in to the point that it's safe to do so. Um, you know, in some ways, backing into places has helped me uh, become a better driver. This game, in some ways, has helped me to become a better driver. Granted, I wouldn't use this game to replace like an actual <laughs> driving test if you're first learning how to drive, but you know. Off we go. And I want to give you a pretty good look at what we're dealing with here. Um, this is not the biggest load that I've ever done, but it does look pretty, pretty important, you know? I kind of don't pay attention to what's in the trailers. I just kind of go with it. For all I know, there's maple syrup or pumpkin or uh, paper towels in this cargo, but I honestly don't know. I also don't know if those of you who watch these videos, I don't know if you prefer third-person view. Um, my only real gripe with third-person view is that sometimes it's hard to drive the truck in this mode um, just because I'm so used to first-person mode. It is kind of a challenge because I'm always having to uh, adjust my perspective and so my driving gets a little uh, messed up as a result. So, I don't know. Some people might like the third person view because in a sense, yes, you do get to see more of the environment. So it could be something that people prefer, but when I play this game, I most certainly prefer uh, just the first person view. Uh, this is a nice little city, I have to say. It's pretty nice. Um, I like one thing about America. You are bound to find, like, these small towns that have so much character in them, and this is definitely one of them. This is a nice little, what's the right word? A nice little hamlet. Is hamlet the right word? Hamlet honestly sounds like a small pig, but you know what I mean. Just a nice little place. And if you look to your right, we have a steamboat. And that's pretty awesome. Um, and we have to respect the steamboat, so the bridge is going to open up. And I'm sorry, I truly am apologetic here. But we are going to have to stop the action for a little bit. Uh, because we got to let the steamboat go through. And while this is happening, I'm going to take a drink of coffee. So excuse me for just one moment. Oops, sorry about that bump. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Some coffee. Nothing wrong with a little bit of late morning coffee. Oh, my voice is cracking. Yeah. Okay. So the bridge is slowly lowering, and I think we'll be pretty much good to go. I think that was pretty cool, you know? I like these little touches of realism that this game has. Now, uh... Oh, okay. I was kind of worried for a minute that somehow the game just broke and, uh, I wouldn't be able to pass. Up ahead in the distance, I think... Is that a donut shop? I hope it is. I actually could go for a good donut. It's one of those things that you should not eat all the time, but like 
every once in a while. Just a good old fashioned glazed donut. Even just the regular flavor, like just the regular sugar glaze is just fine. You don't have to make a donut into something complex, like you don't have to add sprinkles. Um, you know, it's perfectly fine if it's just glazed. Take another look. What do you think about that color? I do like that color, that particular shade of green. All right, let's continue on. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, it's really, really slow on these roads. I feel like we should be speeding up because this is the open road, you know? This is, this is the western half of America. We need to go a little faster. There we go. Now we're going up to 60. That's exactly what I want. We got a little bit of a lakeside next to us. That's nice. Um, yeah, look, look at this road. It's definitely opening up, and I love it. I love it. You know? I mean, trust me. A video game doesn't replace the actual experience of going somewhere and visiting in real life, but I think this is a pretty good representation overall of America and the roads and the little things here and there. I mean, you can tell that so much attention is given to the little details, little things that, you know, maybe you would take for granted if you lived in the area that's being portrayed, but, but I actually, you know, I don't live in the West, so, um, this whole experience is like, wow, it's, it's eye-opening. You know, there's a lot of desert, but also a lot of lush greenery. And just every town has something kind of unique about it. So, it's pretty fun. Like, this road feature right here is kind of unusual, I must say. Um, but it's looking pretty nice. So... We've still got quite a ways to go for this long trip, but it's fine. So, oh yeah, I love what I'm seeing. This is like when I picture the Wild West. This is kind of like the image that I get. Now, the only thing that's missing is a tumbleweed going across the screen. Like, if we, if we could just have a tumbleweed appear, tumbling across the screen, honestly, that would, uh, enhance the experience. But I like where we're at. I'm pretty sure we are in a different state now. Um, I think we left Idaho. Uh, so, wherever we're at because I obviously don't know my directions, my geography that well. But I think it's looking pretty good. And we are now going into the town again. There's a lot of town travel around here, and therefore we gotta slow it down just a little bit. We don't wanna be caught speeding. We don't wanna get the police on our tail. But I have a confession to make, honestly. It's the fact that I turned off the police in this game because I got tired of getting a ticket for unfair situations. I don't think, like, I just kind of got annoyed with it. And also, um, 
if you do get caught running a red light or speeding, it does make a like a sound effect that I just don't think is very conducive to an ASMR video environment. So I decided a little while back that I was just going to turn the police off. Now, that doesn't give me the right to just drive as wildly as I want to. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to the best of my ability to follow the laws of the road. And some people might say, well, that's pretty boring. To which I say, yes, yes it is. It is boring to follow the laws. But then I come back to the reason I make these videos. You know, this is, this is to help people relax. This is to help people de-stress, you know, because every day, if it's the status quo, you see the same things, you experience the same things, you talk to the same people, it's day in and day out. I just thought, this is something different for your mind to latch on to, you know? It's a different experience. And so I realized that I could make it more exciting if I drove 75 miles an hour on a 35 road, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Besides, I think it's pretty helpful to just imagine that all you have to do is just watch the surroundings, just view the beautiful skies and the desert and the windmills and take in everything. That's all you have to do. And you know, don't worry about the driving. Uh, you can trust me. I'm a good driver. Plus, plus I have a passenger, right? And this passenger has to remain safe. This is probably one of the best, uh, <laughs> probably one of the best decorations I have inside my truck. Anyway. I hope you all are doing good, and I, I hope you're thoroughly relaxed from this video. And I do enjoy playing this game. I do enjoy driving around. Um, definitely one of my favorite Steam games, for sure. But you know... What I do is I try to play different games and try to have fun with them, but here's the main thing. I know I'm a broken record, but I just hope that the content is good, you know? I hope it's relaxing. Um, hmm. I was supposed to get my truck weighed, so I think I have to backtrack. Sadly, fortunately, my trailer is quite small, so it's not even going to be an issue. Again, here I am, just, you know, trying to follow the law. I don't want to, don't want to get in too much trouble. And to all truck drivers who may be watching this, you have to get your truck weighed, you have to get your truck weighed, you know, you just have to suck it up and do it. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully I'm entering this thing the right way. <laughs> I think I, I think I am. Okay, so, let's get that done. Yep, they thanked me for my cooperation. You know what? Thank you. Thank you all for watching this video. And uh, I think this will be a good place to cut it off for now. I have been thinking about doing longer truck simulator videos. 
Uh, the thing about them, though, is that they take much longer to upload, especially at this quality. But it is something I'm thinking about. So, um, yeah. You know, I don't know if people enjoy longer videos or shorter videos. Um, but I get the sense that longer videos are what people prefer. But, uh, either way, I'm gonna stop at this one, at least for now. And, uh, I will see you in the next Truckin' Simulator video. Thanks again, and have a very nice day. Goodbye.